Right now we're doing Pintura, which is a technique that we do for highlighting here at Divashan. I'm Rachel, a colorist here, and this is Asia. And today, to start our technique, we're going to start by sectioning her hair. The technique of Pintura was developed here at Divashan by Dennis De Silva, one of our co-owners. So what we do is we take sections of the hair according to the movement of the hair. Right now we have the color here, we're ready to highlight Asia's hair. And Asia's hair type is swathy. So with the technique, with the Pintura technique, we just take individual pieces and paint. So the painting, really allows you to have control over where you want to place your color. The painting also benefits because it helps to cut your time down. And when your color grows out, it's easier on the eyes because we're able to get right up to the root. we're going to highlight Asia's hair will be more of a nice soft golden then we take these tissues and we lightly place them to keep the color from bleeding With this technique of highlighting, you're also able to add different colors to the hair, whether it be highlight, low light, by using opposite sides of your hand. Especially with the painting, similar to the haircut, everything is done by eye. So what we like to do is see where the hair is growing from and the movement, and then we paint to the natural movement of the hair. For instance, if someone has a cowlick or if someone's hair is maybe growing different in one direction, we like to actually pick up that exact piece and show the movement. It's also healthier for your hair to have the Pintura method done, especially on a retouch, because the hair down at the bottom has already been highlighted. So if you're just going to be touching somebody's hair up, you don't have to over highlight the hair. You will highlight right to, right to where the hair has already been previously highlighted. So it saves the ends of the hair, whereas with foiling, the ends of the hair get put back into the foil. So this is just a healthier way of highlighting. Now we're going to take to the front section. So when you get toward to the front of the head, this allows you to have easy access to your hairline.
This tool that we use is called a comb brush. This also was patented by Dennis De Silva, one of our co-owners. And this brush is an essential tool in our highlighting technique. So you have your comb brush, and then we have a comb here, which are also we're able to highlight with, which is very helpful when using two colors during your highlighting process. So with the Pintura, once you get to the top of your head, what we do is we lay the top layer over and then we come around and section the opposite side and by doing so you're able to rest your hair on top without affecting any of the highlights. So what we put here on the top is we just put one final piece of tissue and to cover what we've done by covering it it keeps the product moist so once you go underneath the heat lamp it keeps the product processing and working so this is just regular saran wrap and we gently place it around and then the process begins. Once you have your plastic wrap around, then you can bring her under her heat and the heat will start to process. For just about 15 minutes. Now Asia's ready to be washed and I'm Rachel here at Divashan Salon. Now we're gonna show you the natural curl finish. My name is Dan De Silva from Divashan Salon, and uh, we are here to unveil how this color was done, how this styling was done, and the natural curl style. Mm. Asia was under the dryer for 15 minutes, and hair is completely dry. And this was the beautiful work that was done by Rachel, our colorist is the painted technique of Copentura. What is important about this technique is that to work in the curly hair, you wanna see natural from the roots and a little more color down in the bottom. That's what's on in the fashion right now, that's what the young girls like, and that's what we do over here in Diva Shop. You can see, The ends has that splash of color that creates such a lost, such a holiday looking for this time of the year over here in New York City. And it can be created anywhere in the world. After the hair has been dry, what you need to do, you have to crunch the ends this way. You break any hardness on the ends of the hair and she will create a very natural looking curly hair. So, and look at how beautiful is this color. One more time, we're gonna use the setter free, it's our finished product, to lock the ends and keep the moisture in the hair. And we're gonna flip her back. And this is what this, the girls want. Look sexy, looks pretty, look fresh, look new, and she's ready to party. If you want to learn more about the Pintura Yawa technique today, you can go to naturalcurly.com or you can visit divashansalon.com and mydivacurl.com. Thank you.